are here in beautiful Hollywood, California. Gonna check out these brand new homes right behind me. They are all for sale. There are four total homes behind me. Single family homes technically, but they look like townhomes from the outside. So we're gonna check out one of them in its entirety. Look at that, three stories in total. And it is an absolutely beautiful day today out here. Doesn't get much better than this in LA. We're also super close to the 101 freeway in a great location of Hollywood. But let's just show you what this place looks like. step through the iron pedestrian gate right here we are completely private to just your specific home front door is right behind me i love the landscaping on the side yard here beautiful garden right there i mean there's a little seating space you've got a ring of course and then here's the front door let's go inside okay as we start our tour here in the front of the home you turn right there i am we're gonna start the tour, that's me. My name is Darren Kriz, I'm a local real estate agent. I have a team out here. We help people buy, sell, and invest in properties just like this every single day. If that's you or someone you know, let me know. Shoot us an email, reach out down in the description, comment, subscribe, like, all that good stuff. We are happy to help people just like you every day. But we're gonna show you this entire unit starting with this main level. Brand new construction in a great location in Hollywood, just north of the 101 freeway. So let's check it out. Let's take a turn to the left first, as we have some closet space right here. Also, where your washer and dryer will go, you've got hookups right here, which is convenient on the first level, so you don't have to go up or down anywhere. But let's check out this bathroom first. The room next door is not does not have this bathroom attached. It does have another one though, but look at the finishes in here. You've got the beautiful polyester tile, light gray tones, as well as in the shower, quartz countertops, dark wood cabinetry down beneath, nice modern lighting in there. You've got a glass door to enter your shower, floating shower bench. You've got the same tile that you see on the walls and in the shower niche, you've got the little pentagon shaped black tile. The dark contrasting tile is nice with the light gray walls and a large rain shower head in there, but as we keep moving right next door, look at this bedroom. This bedroom is massive. This could easily be two bedrooms in itself. You've got a separate living area, and then you've got a sleeping space. You do have a nice picture window looking out to your side yard. So much room in here. You can easily have a couch, a TV, maybe another TV on this wall, but let's check out this bathroom because you've got dual vanity in here and Lots of countertop space. You've got the nice brown vein running right through the center of it. Dark cabinetry, chrome handles there. In the drawers, soft closing, of course. To the right, we've got large walk-in closet space with the gray paint, the gray tones throughout, and then the shower, of course. This is a large bedroom, guys. Large bedroom, large bathroom. You've got the dark hexagon shaped tiles in here, and you have even the ground in between. You can see it is shaded in a nice dark gray. Normally they would keep that white, but it's a little bit different in this one. You've got the rain shower head, handheld one as well. Niche con complements, it's actually inverted from the last shower that we saw. You've got the white interior shower niche there. Toilet and center, let's keep moving. And you see the wood floors throughout on this level, but that was that bedroom. That's an impressive first bedroom that we are seeing in this townhome, but let's go into this room. This could definitely be a nice office space or a guest bedroom. I say an office space because normally the one right next to the front entrance that faces the picture window looking out to the street would make it for a nice office space because sometimes people don't want to be sleeping right next to the front entrance or the street. But if you get these views, you get nice Hollywood Hills views, palm trees, beautiful skies. Why would you not want to sleep here, wake up here every single day? It's not on suite though, so it would make for a good office space. You got storage space, closet space right there. But if you have to use the restroom, you would have to go all the way to that one that we saw in the beginning. But now... That was everything on this first main level. Let's go up these stairs and show you guys what it looks like on the next floor. So as we walk up the wood stairs, 
We've got the matte black railing to the right side, and we run directly into a powder room with quartz countertops in here, motion sensor lights, and you've got the brass fixtures, Kohler sink, gray veins on your countertops as well, and the dark wood cabinetry down here, the dark wood storage space down there. Put all your towels, all your goods down there. But here it is, this is your living space. The mecca of the house, the place where you'll probably spend most of your time, if not in your bedroom, but we've got an oversized living room. You can really customize this to your liking. Either put the couch up on that wall, maybe put it in the center here, TV up on the wall, or put it back here next to the stairs. It really, it just depends what you prefer. But as we look to this dining space, let's get these lights on here. Very modern matte black light fixture hanging right above the table. You can easily sit seat, seat six, maybe eight people at this dining table. And right next door, here's your kitchen. Beautiful kitchen, guys. I mean, this is the type of kitchen that we might see in homes uh, that are five million plus, not in homes that are 1.7 million in Hollywood, in a great location. You can commute anywhere very easily from this space as well. But just check it out. Let's look at all the features that it has to offer. So we do have quartz countertops, large breakfast bar, can seat probably four. And then we've got pantry space, four floating wood shelves in there. Lots of room in the kitchen. You can definitely have two, maybe three people doing things in here at the same time, which is nice. You've got the integrated stainless steel sink. I absolutely love the look of that sink and the matte black faucet with the handheld shower uh, sink sprayer. Brand new dishwasher as well. This, these quartz countertops just go on forever. There's really plenty of space to where they can be dining comfortably and you can be cooking over here without getting in the way. More countertop space. Then you see the LED lights right underneath the floating wood cabinetry. Above here, we've got the wood interior as well. Soft closing, look at that. Even if you want to slam it, you can't. The LED lights do extend the entire corner here and the backsplash is of the same quartz. Several outlets as well, which is always convenient. Six burner gas stove, Thermador appliances, top of the line Thermador hood vent right above stainless steel once again. You've got a pot filler, which you don't see too often these days in a lot of the new construction, but the new remodels, they typically don't do them. And then more countertop space to the right, LEDs once again, a beautifully staged, beautifully staged cactus right here. Look at this thing. I mean, cacti just always makes, uh, makes any room pop, honestly. And this is also something interesting, the Whirlpool built in microwave. You usually don't see it in this part of the kitchen. Normally it'd be maybe above the stove, maybe um, next to the sink over here, maybe even on the side of your countertop space of your bar. But they've got it all the way tucked back into the end of the kitchen, which I kind of like. It's a convenient space. You've got plenty of room to both sides. And then also we've got these corner drawers. Ooh, this is always a nice touch. You can spin these around so that you can get to things easily without having to duck down and reach all the way back there for your canned goods or your pots and pans. And then we've got fridge and freezer, brand new stainless steel freezer compartment down beneath to the right. We've got a couple doors, storage space, coat closet, and then check it out guys. This is where your two car garage is located. That is a pretty unique spot. Beautiful lighting in here, super bright lighting. And you enter the home through the driveway on the back side. You can conveniently drive in and then go right into the main level, into the kitchen without having to walk up the stairs, which is always a good touch. But so far, if you've made it this far into the video, let me know what you think of this house. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Also, comment down below. I wanna know your thoughts of this new construction compared to a lot of the other ones that I've shown on this channel, but we're gonna keep showing you the rest. There's another floor up above us. And there's also this sliding glass door leading out to a large balcony space, outdoor dining here. Beautiful day, like I said, it is about 65, 70 degrees. It is a perfect day out here. A little bit of wind, but not much at all. We're looking down onto the street. We are just getting everything you'd want to get in Los Angeles. And then you get palm trees right there. I mean, what's better than looking at 
seven, eight, nine palm trees right off your balcony. But let's go back inside, show you the rest, what this has to offer. It's always nice having some outdoor space right off the main area. But look at this. Look at your home. Look at the living space. Look at the recessed lighting. Built-in speakers as well in this living room and in the kitchen. Separate space for that. Also, I didn't mention you do have a Nest thermostat up on the wall. You can maybe see it right there a little bit. But we got to go upstairs. There's more to see up here. It's another floor in this town home. I love the staging in here too. You can see Hollywood land. You're very close to the sign. You can just go right to the sign. This is your house. This is pretty much accurate representation of where this house we're in is currently, right below the Hollywood sign, but not really, not that close. Somewhat, somewhat close, but this is it. The top floor consists of solely the primary suite, which is nice, large primary suite. This is as big as many studio apartments, maybe even as big as a lot of one bedroom apartments. This is a large primary suite, California king size bed. You've got a beautiful, look at this window right here. If I show you this angle of the window, you can only see palm trees. That is insane, guys. I mean, what's better than that? Walking into your bedroom every day and only seeing palm trees through that window. Specifically, they did that on purpose. The developer definitely did that on purpose, but now we're pretty high up here, looking down at the street, looking down at that balcony. But let's take a turn. Picture window, bringing in a ton of natural sunlight in here. Recessed lighting, lacing this hallway. You got a little outdoor balcony for you. It's a nice enclosed balcony and you do look out to the palm trees once again. Nice little outdoor space for your bedroom if you don't wanna go downstairs and use that balcony. But then, if we keep walking, we'll turn to the right first. As we walk into this closet, look at that. We've got an, a full body mirror, which is nice. You don't have to buy your own. We've got similar dark gray tones in this closet. You can customize it to your liking still. And the right side, maybe this is the his side. Look at that, you've got the, the his side, which is, that's all he might need. And then you've got the her side. There's plenty of room, way more room for all of her, whatever she's going out there and buying out here in Hollywood. You know, if she's living in Hollywood, she's gonna probably need this much space, if not more. She'll probably have to take over the his side, but that's still a good amount of space for anyone, really. And then also, HVAC right there. Not too bad into the closet, and let's get out of here. All right, so first off, let's do this. Let's see this, the glass door, the matte black handle, the shower, the shower head, and the handheld shower head, also matte black, almost the same size as the actual Kohler shower, shower head. Then we've got the freestanding deep soaking tub in your shower, still enough room to stand here, and then someone else could take a bath right there. You do have two windows, bringing in lots of natural sunlight. We don't even have the recessed light on in here. And I mean, this view while you're showering is very nice, super convenient for this price point. You're not gonna see that too often. I mean, you've got neighbors out here that are, are jealous of you because you're over all of them, really. They don't get these views that you're getting in this nice of a house, in this nice of a brand new construction home. You don't see that in Hollywood every single day. So this is gonna go quick, guys. Shower niche has a nice little different herringbone-ish pattern in there in the tile, beautiful marble surrounding us. And then we look at the dark wood cabinetry, similar to what we've been seeing with the soft closing drawers down there. Dual vanity, once again, plenty of room in the center for countertop space and some towel storage on the left side. Then you've got your water closet, toilet room, private privacy is a must. You gotta close that off. It's nice when it's not just in the open next to the tub. I mean, what are they doing when they put it next to the tub, honestly? But you do also have matte black everything. I like how this entire home contrasts the dark matte black with the light quartz. You even see it bordering around the mirror above. And then you've got a couple modern light fixtures above each sink. Skylight as well in here. So you're really getting a lot of natural sunlight throughout. So many different spaces have windows. And then you've got this tinted window and door. Now look at that, guys. Did you expect to have another outdoor balcony? Look at that. This one much bigger than the other one. So, and this one's private too. They, no one would be able to tell. Your spouse wouldn't be able to tell if you're out on this balcony because of the tinted window. And then there are some of your neighbors in this little fourplex here in this new construction area of Hollywood. So technically, this is all yours though. You look down there, beautiful landscaping. You look out here from this angle, 
and there are the other garages right there. I mean, this is just a beautiful unit in general, guys. Let me know what you thought of this top floor, but let's head back downstairs. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of that home in general. Leave a comment down below. Also, hit the like button. If you didn't know already, my name is Darren Chris. I have a team out here, a real estate team. We help people buy, sell, and invest in property every day. If that's you or someone you know, reach out to us. Look at these homes behind us. We show clients homes just like that, new construction and remodels every single day out here in this beautiful city that I call home. I'm a native Angelina. I know this place like the back of my hand. If you don't believe me, shoot me an email, reach out. I'll answer any questions in general. Look at the property. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe for more videos on all things Los Angeles. And to see more homes, what new builds are looking like out here every single day. We're posting multiple videos every single week. Thanks so much again. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.